Thanks, but it has. I think he was waiting for a long time, but he finds it equal. He found it tonight. Um, everything was great tonight, Aaron. Aaron done a great job. I'd like to thank Tony for, for hosting all of this, for making it all possible. Um, it's great to see the Tappers what they are. I hope this time next year they're just as happy in 25 and 50 years. Uh, I'm sure that they will be. Hopefully someday we'll see a little tennis run around. <laughs> or a little more than this. It'll be great. Uh, I know we've got some very, very proud parents uh, to see both of this. But, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm proud to, to be the best man. And, uh, I hope everything will be great. I really do. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you would please raise your glasses at one time. Everyone hanging out together. Cheers to Brian. So, see you on the right room. Now, of course, you know, honor to our patron, or to our patron of the ceremony itself. Oh, that's dry. That's dry. Well, I don't really have a term patron. They say that if you're a nervous, you should stir the crowd in their underwear. I'm related to half of you, so I'm not going to do that because I think it'd be a little weird. Um, so I'm just going to be nervous and make it through it. So for those of you who don't know me, stick it closer to your lips. <laughs> Tell her, Jeremy. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Holly Mouse. I'm Amanda's cousin. Uh, growing up, we came from a wonderfully large extended family where it seemed like the boys outnumbered the girls by about three to one. And we were quite close in age, so naturally we became close. And I can't help but feel like I watched my little sister get married today. Um, today is a very special day for our family. And I know I speak for myself as well as our family and friends present and those who cannot be here with us today. And we say we are all very proud of you. Um, I come from a family of list makers, as anyone who got their wedding itinerary from Amanda this morning knows. Uh, we make a list to make sure we're complete. So I do a little research. I want to make sure I don't leave anything out. This is my first major of honor speech. So I came up with a five-point checklist just to make sure I cover everything. All right, so point number one. Tell the bride she looks beautiful. Amanda. Yay. Yeah. You look beautiful to wear today in a way that nobody here will ever be able to forget. You're beautiful on the inside and out, and we love you. All right. Check. <laughs> Number two. Tell a groom how handsome you look. Tony, you do clean up quite nicely. And it's a shame you're a married man, because you do look quite dashing tonight. And we welcome you to our family. Check. <laughs> Number four. Or er, three. Sorry, getting out of myself. Give the groom some insight about the bride, and hopefully make her proud now. Um, well, to me, throughout her life, Amanda has always shown such great motivation, ambition, and voice, whether it's career, school, family, or friends, she's always tackled everything with passion. And now, Tony, may she also tackle you with passion. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, say thank you. Um, thank you to Aunt Jane and Uncle Larry for all that you've done to make this day as special as it is. I know I speak for everyone here when we say we hope the bar is fully stopped. Um, of course, our gratitude to Mrs. Brown, Penny's mother, for all of your support. Everything that you all have done has made this day, by all accounts, the perfect day. Thank you to Amanda and Tony for giving me the honor of playing such a great role in a special day. And of course, thank you to Amanda for making such a good choice for Major Brown. <laughs> and last but not least, number five, say something touching and try not to cry. I don't have to cry enough to drink them yet, so I might actually cry. <laughs> um, in our lifetime, I think we are gifted with a small amount of actually remarkable moments. They often start out small, like learning to ride a bike or losing your first tooth. Um, as you get older, I think that these moments increase in power and significance. Some of you have been fortunate enough to witness that moment when the doctor hands you that purple little feature and says, it's a boy or it's a girl, and before you know it, you're giving away in marriage. But it's also one of the life's most remarkable moments when you look into the eyes of the most wonderful individual you've ever known and promise to love them forever. And you know that your life is forever changed, but perfect nonetheless. A moment like this and the commitment that follows should be celebrated to its fullest. And so it's the duty of everyone here this evening to ensure that this moment in the lives of Amanda and Tony becomes one of their remarkable moments. So let's
Let's raise our glasses and check, by the way. <laughs> um, Amanda and Tony may live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Cheers. Yay, Holly. Thank you for joining me.